Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Simona's Requiem. This is a 2D platformer that has been inspired by classic old school retro action adventure platformers and we are currently exploring the crypt and seeing what we can find in here and we have picked up a set of wings that allow us to double jump which is going to be very useful along our way we are trying to find a king that has escaped death and basically as far as i can tell right now we are trying to rectify that so we i guess we've got to grab go find the king and collect his soul basically is our duty right now i like that little skull crawler down there that is very cool we've got to be careful there is no down i can't bend down so that's going to be a little bit of a problem here i hope that little skull platform comes back because if not we're gonna have a, we're not gonna have a problem i can get back there okay there we go it looks like it's coming back but i've got to fall and figure out how we're there there we go I want to make sure that we get on this ledge here and then maybe we can wait for that skull that's i really love those skull walkers that's a pretty cool little ingenious creature here to have that shoots fire i think it's a very nice interesting enemy to deal with actually that guy's gonna hit me in the head if i'm not careful with the fire bombs oh this looks very interesting see just a skeleton down there i'm not gonna worry about the skeletons down there oh no i fell down now i do have to worry about the skeletons down there but i do like those piles of bones down there i'm trying to figure out what way would be the best to set them off do i need this one to be going much much further ahead if this is going to be far enough ahead to be able to come back and make that jump oh yes good jump there all that little cage over there too it really has a nice crypt feel to it i think with the skulls in the background the little shelvings for the skulls and then the why am i going back around I think that's just a way to get back up. And then even these cages here are pretty neat. I am not sure if I'm gonna make, okay, I don't need to be, ah! Okay, I kinda got stuck there. Can I make that? Oh, I'm gonna have to have that to make the jump up. Okay, I can handle that. We're gonna have to fall down. We can move when we fall, I think. Let's see, if we walk off this, can I move back? Okay, I can move back if I fall. That's gonna be useful. And then the double jump obviously helps me as well to change directions. I'm curious what's down there, but I'm not sure I want to go take a look. Wow, I'm not even sure which way I need to go. There's so many different. Ah, that springs me up. Okay, I like that. Oh, get that one going. Then we're going to have to jump. Oh, no, didn't make it. Okay, let's try that again. Oh. Oh, this one's over here? Oh, I'm not sure which one that one started on. That's going to make it a little bit harder to do. Here we go. 
Oh, he's gonna hit me. Oh, that was really cool if I could have pulled that off. That was gonna be really awesome. To get knocked back like that and still make it on the platform, but ah, we got it. We didn't fall back too far. I'll wait till that guy finishes that little edge walk. Gives me a little bit more room there. This looks very chaotic. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky to get through here. I'm not sure again. Oh, we have to go all the way down. Here we go. Ah, I like that. That's a nice little puzzle. That's, that's good platforming trickiness. There wasn't a lot of close pixel perfect jumps, but you do have to time it and you have to know what you're doing there. How the... Oh, hi, Simona. Gustav. You made it. Somehow. This room looks foreboding. What's up ahead? The Crypt Keeper lies in wait in the next room. Great. Sounds like a friendly fellow. I have actually heard quite the opposite. You're just a bundle of fun, aren't you? Yeah, let's make sure we get to the checkpoint there before we get to the boss level. That would be cool. Is there someone here? You have trespassed hallowed ground. I am the guardian of this place. I love what you've done with the place. I hear Gothic Chick is really in this fall. My will is absolute. Stay to your purpose. I'm here looking for the king. I have no quarrel with you. Ha 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 The king is a fool. He left me here to govern over the death of all things some time ago. But he underestimated my might. You will never find him. Not that it matters. Well, it matters to me, you big red wall ornament. Why don't you get off your high horse, come down here, and tell me what's going on? Nobody leaves my chamber alive. Or dead for that matter. We'll see about that. Okay, well, oh, I just now see him up there. I am not sure what he's going to do, so I'm a Oh, he shot his eye out at me. Okay, it definitely takes a little bit of damage off him, but we, we got a few hits on him. If this is all he's doing, I think I've got this. I don't want to get overconfident yet because he probably has some kind of other form here. He does do quite a bit of damage on me, though. I like how... Oh, gosh. Okay, what is that doing? Oh gosh, it's gonna kill me. Oh gosh. I have to just run around the whole thing and to get away from it. Can I hit him as I go around? <laughs> is this just gonna be something I have to avoid completely now? Oh, this is not gonna be fun. If I drop right there, I was gonna say I can get a lot on him right here. If I just, oh gosh. That got me, oh, that's gonna be another one. Oh shoot. I was going to say, if I dropped right next to him, then I've got that. Oh, no, we're going to, we're gonna, not going to make it. Not going to make it. There we go. That's where I want to be. Get a couple hits here and then move on. I'd rather make sure I get a couple hits than move on than have to. I got that hit there. Can I not hit from? Oh, goosh. Come on, there. Oh, he topped the beam. That's good. Let's see if we can get a few more. I love how the thing is breaking. Oh, it's going faster now. I see that. Oh, gosh. I can also probably hit him a couple times over on this side, too. Everything's always oh, got two beams now. Oh, you think you're so bad now. I've got to make this drop a good timing here. Oh, no. I was getting so close. Let's see. If, oh, I like how he kind of. <laughs> Okay, I I think we could do this. We did pretty good the first time. 
I think. So basically, I think the beginning is going to be just avoiding that as much. Uh, avoiding that as much as I can. Because we want to get as much. Well, I'm not doing very good at avoiding that, but that's kind of was my plan. Because I want to have as much life. I bet you the beams are going to do a lot of damage to me if I get hit. Oh gosh. Oh, that's not gonna, ouch. Yeah, that did pretty good bit of damage to me. But if I get around here, I could almost, I kind of just wanna get a couple hits on him again. Maybe three hits. Yeah, it goes over my head, good. Again, I don't want to push that beam too close to me. I don't want to be being chased by the beam, basically. Oh, gosh. Of course, we can't go too fast because if we go too fast, then I'm just stuck at the top because I can't drop down because the beam is down that way. Now, when is the other beam gonna come? Gotta watch this. Oh, there it goes. That was a bad idea to come on this side. Okay, where does the second beam? It's gonna be opposite of it, probably. There it goes. We're gonna have to follow this upper beam really quickly, it looks like. We're not gonna have much room to maneuver once we get back down there ah crap we're doing definitely better this time i just hope that we can do it without dying that's that's what i'm hoping here oh no i didn't want to hit him oh gosh got one more hit left I don't take a lot off each hit, which is unfortunate. Might have to play this guy again. Gosh, I think I've made it really tight here. We're getting up pretty fast. I've got the setting down there so that the hard thing is this bubble keeps on coming at me. If the bubble wasn't there, I would do so much better. All right, well, let's try again. I think this is just basically what we got to do. I could. Does it tells me experience. I have 281 of 400. So if I go back a little bit and maybe depending on the experience of getting some stuff, Oh no, that was tough. We're not gonna do all that platform again. We're just gonna push through this and see if we can deal with it. Because if there were some enemies close by, I probably would go and try. I really need to just not get hit by this thing. That, I should not be getting hit by this thing. It's not that hard to avoid that dot and just take a hit on him when I can. It's just gonna be the long game here, it looks like. It just feels that he has too much health and I have not doing as much damage. So it's gonna be a matter of attrition here, I think. Oh, I didn't make that. Okay, we need to also be higher, I think, when we're doing that, or maybe on the other side of him if we go on the other side and start on the other side then we have the whole attack as he's as the beams coming around yeah it just really doesn't seem like i'm doing much damage to him I thought I could get under it. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. We got it. I think the beam starts under him again. There we go. 
if we could just get a couple more hits and oh shoot jumped up into him oh shoot that was a bad idea Ugh. Oh, can I get around it in time? Oh gosh, that was lucky. I got real lucky right there. Okay, we can do this. I gotta be careful about that. I'm just trying to get too fast again. Not trying to outspeed him. But I just got enough time to do a couple hits and that's all. It looks like I'm getting really close here. I might be able to get it this time. Just take my time, be cool, and... Yeah, there we go. Got him, sweet. What do we pick up here? Can I swipe it? Oh, sweet, good. Looks like we got a bunch of experience and a skull. What does the skull do? That's cool, I love that. That was awesome. Okay, let's head out this way. See what we're gonna lead to. We've already been in the crypt, no reason to go back that way. Oh, we're back, oh, okay, cool. So we're out now, we've got a double jump. Now does that help us this way? I'm gonna, oh, that lighting, did I never notice that lighting before? That's really cool, how that lighting is the sprite lights up differently depending on which where that light is that's kind of cool this still doesn't seem like anything it's probably we come back in here i don't think there was anything else down there let's go up and check the other way and see if we can get up there Actually, I would like to check. I kind of want to check the city over here real quick, actually, because there was a couple things that I thought maybe I could do if I had to double jump. One of them was this area over this way. Uh, this room might lead me up there so that we can find a little bit more information out. Can we not make that jump? Still can't make... Oh, there we go. I was like, can we still not make that jump? Eh, that's kind of crazy. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, we are on the top now. Oh, because we want to talk to this person over here is why we want to be up here. Hello there, madam. A curse, I tell you. A what now? He's hiding behind the moon, looking at us and laughing while we struggle in the muck. I know who you are. I can see right through you. So can most people. It's an eternal thing, you see? You're the stranger. Like the stories. You're here for the king. How did you? It's too late. Or too soon. I can't tell anymore. What a horrible night. To have a curse? No, you fool. Just a horrible night. Never ending night. Okay, that was pretty cool. I love the reference there. Great work. Okay, the next thing I think we need to do is go over to the right. Let's see something here. We have 314 experience. Yeah, it looks like each one of these little dots that they throw out is an experience point. The little, not the big red balls with the little light looking like things. I feel that's my experience. Those skeletons are very tough. The skeletons take three hits like those big spiky turtles did. I think that's a little excessive. Here he is. He's always in front of me. 
Gustavo! Simona. It is good to see you. How did you go in the Crypt Keeper? He was more red than I imagined. But he is gone now. And I even found this skull thing. Very good. Then you are well on your way. Oh yes, baby. This is going great. No sign of the king of this place yet, though. That's a bit worrying. But I'm sure he will turn up. One never knows. Hey, well, let's hop up on here and see what we can find. The bridge. And I saw a big giant. Oh, now that's cool. I was going to say the big giant. Fish. That's the word. Fish. It's not that hard. It was a fish. Okay, so the green things shoot. Yep. Slimies at me. We got to watch out for the slimies. Okay, let's see if he's going to shoot something at me. Nope, he jumps. Oh, he went to jump back in. I love the how they kind of explode into pixels as well. He's going to hit me. Oh, no, I got it. Sweet. So we got to make sure we come back and get those little experience points too. Because when they blow up, sometimes experience points go behind me. And that's never a good thing. Oh no! Ah shoot, I really need a, a health. I love the idea of the wings giving them double jump. It's great when a game gives you a reason to have the abilities. So you're not just getting a double jump. You get wings which give you a double jump. And I really like that effect when the games do that. Some kind of makes sense sort of thing. I didn't expect to get break those blocks I was just trying to get through oh I can see some of them are cracked okay so cracked blocks can be broken oh the bat got me I gotta also get ready for the the swing takes a second so her swing is a full swing and it takes up time and it makes sense that it would do so. So that's kind of cool, but you kind of got to also be ready for that. Might be able to get, yeah, okay, good. I was worried there for a second that I would not be able to get those experience points there. We found stairs. Where are we heading here? Wise or brave? I don't know. I'm going to say I'm wise. I'm not so sure I'm brave. I love these little... Those are another thing that are pretty straight out of Castlevania. Those little blobs that go up and down like that. I really like it though. I, it's really cool. Still goblins in there too are pretty sweet. They were hard to hit and really annoying Castlevania, but I did like them. What do I need for my next level? 800. Well, it's going to take us some time here, isn't it? I also like that the slimes, I can't bend down and the slimes are actually below me. So I've got to be careful about swinging at them. My scythe, I don't believe will hit them when they're on the ground. Now that guy is not going to be able to be hit at all. I'm going to have to be ready for his shot. As it comes across, let's wait for it. Oh, I tried to jump, but I didn't make it in time. Oh, the clock tower. I'm intrigued, but also terrified going through another one of these. I think we're going to leave the clock tower for the next episode. I do like the look of this. It's kind of 
reminiscent of one of the other i think three castlevania three had a clock tower in it which was pretty cool it was a little difficult there's a lot of really precise platforming and difficulty with the gears in castlevania three but we have a double jump she doesn't land as hard as he did in castlevania so i don't think it'll be too bad here as it was in castlevania but i'm excited to see that but we're going to check that out in the next episode if you like this and would like to check it out there's a link down in the description below this is simona's requiem and i will see you in the next episode bye everybody